Thank you all. We are waiting just a few seconds that some other attendees can join the webinar. Okay, I said we can start. Thank you all for attending this webinar. Uh, I'm talking from Plascan GmbH, German company based in Cologne. I'm the Vice President of International Sales here at Plascan, and I'm starting to introduce my company first, and then the concept of plagiarism and Plascan in general. So, who is Plascan? Plascan is a company that has been founded in 2009 in Cologne, Germany, uh, from two directors, Markus Golbat and Johannes Nabe. I'm the Vice President of International Sales, as introduced me earlier. And right now we are 12 employees, uh, always growing. Uh, we are not a startup anymore because our software is well established in 1,000 institutions worldwide and over 1 million single users worldwide. And let's talk a bit about what we are going to talk during this meeting. So I'm going to introduce uh, the concept of plagiarism, then I'm going to present the product, and of course I'm going to show live how the product works. Uh, and at the end, we can do a question and answer session. Of course, you can write in the chat uh, of the GoToWebinar panel if you have any question, and I will answer your questions later in the appropriate time. Okay, so what is plagiarism? Plagiarism, in general, is a theft of other people's content. So the concept of plagiarism is negative in general. And what companies or universities or institutions should do is to fight this uh, concept uh, positively. When I say positive, I mean that plagiarism should be, uh, should be avoided, uh, making your users to understand that you will check what is going to happen to the document. So if they copied it, they will have, they have to understand that they should stop to do so because you have a software that prevents this behavior. And it's an ethical behavior, not just, a, not just a behavior that you can accept in general. Even though it can be a not intentional act. So people in general don't really understand that plagiarism is something. They, right now in the internet era, it's really easy to copy and paste around Wikipedia or any online newspaper thinking that you can do something like that, but it's actually not that how you should do it. And many students, teachers or publishers are not even aware of what plagiarism is. So uh, the concept of plagiarism is even to make people to understand what is plagiarism. Of course, otherwise, if you don't understand that you are copying, you will never stop to copy of course. And plagiarism in, in the major universities right now worldwide can lead to a bad grade, uh, loss of qualification, or even being sued by copyright infringements. And what does it mean? That if you, are, uh, if you are trying to patent something and your product is not original, so what you're trying to patent, for example, is not an original document but is inspired from the text of someone else, then your patent can be, can be voided. Or, for example, uh, if you submit your thesis to your universities and you copy it without saying that you did so, what can happen is that your professor can recognize it thanks to Plaskan, for example, and can give you a really bad grade and mark you as a, as a thief or as a copier, I would say. But in general, the concept has to be 
and this should properly. Okay, uh, due, due to recent cases, the interest, of course, of plagiarism has been growing. So what does it mean? That every day you can, you can open a newspaper and somewhere you can find out that someone copied and lost their position in their company or in their institution because their work was an original. Of course, the work of ghost writers is something that is always rising, but something is buying or or asking someone to work for you, something is stealing the work of someone else without acknowledging what's the original source. And this is plagiarism. So, main facts and figures. Uh, some, I'm going to cite some, some studies, for example, uh, McCabe reveals that among 70,000 high school students, 58 admit that they plagiarize texts. So, uh, it's not something that is uncommon. The, what is common is that they are not caught by their teachers. So, what happened is that 40% of graduates and 62% of undergraduates have admitted that they are cheating on written assignments. And this is really common, especially now that the world is globalizing and everything that you're writing probably has been written by someone else earlier or on internet on specialized website or forums where this practice is really common in general. And to accord, according to a study published by AB Council, 95% of the students cheating are not getting caught. As, I, as we said, the problem is not the act of doing it. The problem is that uh, they can do it because no one recognizes it. And if you, if you adopt a solution like Blascan, your students will simply stop to, to cheat because they understand that there is a really high risk that their document will get caught and they will simply stop as a positive behavior against a bad behavior. Uh, let's talk about plagiarism in India in this case. So, I'm citing some, uh, some sources, of course, and this is not plagiarism in that case because I'm, I'm saying the original source, so that's already the difference. I can say what is written, saying I think so, but this is plagiarism. Okay, so a study run across India by the Medical College of Lady Harding uh, found that 53% of doctors have already committed plagiarism. Another study by Delhi University, uh, uh, and, uh, the vice chancellor has been sent to prison because he allegedly committed plagiarism. Other cases, for example, is that another vice chancellor has been found guilty of plagiarism by an international organization for an article she sent to the International Journal of Legal Information. Or the director of IMM Indoor has been accused of plagiarizing one of his management case. Everything bad shouldn't happen. And if the, co the company that was accepting these documents or the organization that was, su that was supposed to control these behaviors used uh, anti plagiarism software, they would have found out and this would have never happen. And the shame is just after some years, for example, because when you plagiarize a document, uh, in the first moment, nothing happened and you think that everything went, went fine. But the consequence is if someone is going to have your document on their end in the future, they will always be able to use our software, for example, that is always improving, is always better than the day before, and tomorrow we can find out that you copied yesterday. So don't think that just doing it something today and and the fact that they are not using a software now will make you to, to be safe forever because this is not the truth. Plagiarism can actually destroy the reputation of an institution. So if, if the, vice, vice son, the vice chancellor of an institution is copying, the entire institution, for example, get damaged because A, they are not implementing a solution for preventing the problem. Second, they agreed that wasn't a problem. So a professional plagiarism checker is more efficient, faster and more accurate than manually checking assignment. Of course, you save time, but this is 
not the only fact. You save time because everything is connected today. When you get a document from a student, you, add, you can ask them to submit the document electronically and your online learning management system can automatically submit this document to our plagiarism software and then you are you are safe that you can continue to do your work without having to do anything manually uh, like checking if someone copied from another student because the software is what is going to do your work and 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 t thousands of teachers worldwide are already doing that practice every single day with their classes and uh, as i say it enable you to create your own repository of documents and run collusion check so a collusion check is what I was saying uh, earlier, so when you have a class and you ask a student to submit a document for the classes, in general what happens is that they are not going to copy just from the World Wide Web, but they're going to copy even from uh, another student in their same class. And you have to have all the documents in the same software so that you can check the document against each other called collusion. The education system will be improved by helping the students to think that they to think by themselves. So of course if the students are copying each other they are not uh, really learning something new. They're simply copying without learning and the education system in general as, as a whole uh, can can learn something something by not preventing plagiarism inside their institution. A plagiarism tool will help and will help all the concerned persons understanding the risk of plagiarism and help them to make sure that the content they produce is 100 percent original. Sometimes when you write a document and you think it is the most original text in the world, you don't recognize that you are actually uh, being inspired by the text that someone else wrote earlier, maybe a blog post, an article that you read on a newspaper, and you want to understand uh, that your inspiration is 100% original and not that is a bit uh, too inspired, I would say. And uh, over 1,000 institutions worldwide uh, citing some company that you can find in your country as Sata Consultancy, Tech Mahindra, uh, BBB, CET, or Anna University are some examples. We have a thousand institutions worldwide and they're always growing and we are really loved for, by how simple and useful our service is. I'm not talking about the price that is really competitive, but this is another talk. Okay. Task and characteristics. Okay, so our interface is really concise and easy to use. I will show it later. So for that part, you can simply wait for the live demonstration. But our report is really easy to understand. You can even download it. It's really beautiful and it's a pleasure to use our software, basically. You will have many options to personalize your plagiarism check. Uh, so that you can run collusion checking, organization checking, individual checking, and checking against the entire World Wide Web. Our software can be integrated in various learning management systems. Uh, I will talk about that point later, but every, every institution or business that today is already using an electronic system to set documents can be used for PlatScan. And, of course, we are a German company. We are really proud of being a German company. And this detail uh, is, is really relevant for us because Germany is the safest country for privacy protection laws in the world. If you are working with a German company, you are 100% sure that your privacy is protected. We have laws that enforce uh, our privacy by private German privacy laws. And uh, this is a really important detail. You, this, our one is the only country in the planet where your files are safely stored and no NSA or either, uh, or either wiretappers or bad institutions can actually sniff your documents. And the entire path of your document from your computer to our German servers is encrypted using an SSL encryption 
and basically no one will ever see your document and they are safely stored inside our super secure servers with our laws that protect us from the international companies. Now I can start to show a bit our software. So let's go directly to our live server. Okay, so I want to introduce our main interface. I would like to start by saying that I'm already logged in from our system so that if you want to see our website you can go directly at www.plascan.com uh, this is our document in manager and I want to show you how uh, uploading a document and analyzing a document works so we have three buttons at the top and these three buttons have different functions file upload is really simple because it allows you to upload any file you want to uh, you want to, to store and check on our servers uh, you can upload a standard document any document so every office document every uh, uh, every uh, i work document and every open office document then you can simply copy and paste uh, some text without having to upload a document so as you can see in the in the text input interface you can simply write your document and you will see in the interface a document automatically created or you can use the web import feature that is really beautiful easy and efficient you can upload a document directly from your Dropbox Google Drive or OneDrive and of course if you are a business and you want to check for example your website what you can do is that you can write your website in, in our interface and uh, we will we'll store a copy of all the text uh, included in your website and we we'll run a plagiarism check against your website so that if you own for example an online publication and you want to check your online documents you don't have to copy and paste each page but you can simply copy uh, the URL of your website and it will be automatically scanned now let's upload a document so I'm going to upload an example document in this moment as you can see the file upload feature is really simple and easy to use uh, the document right now is already being processed and I can tell you that the speed of the scan is uh, between 35 seconds to some minutes for the average paper uh, that isn't that is that is under 10 pages uh, for your for your reference For your reference, I would like to tell you that, that basically when you scan a document uh, you, you will always be able to store multiple documents in your own interface. Uh, so let's just wait a second now while I show you our main website so that you can understand how I logged in. This is our standard website and as you can see, okay, let, let me just make sure that you are seeing the presentation. Okay, maybe the window was still stuck on the, on the PowerPoint. I'm just checking a second, okay. I'm sorry that you were seeing the other screens. I have multiple screens in front of me and I'm working on them. So uh, let me start again. This is our website, plascan.com. And as you can see, uh, our website is, pretty, is quite simple. Right now I'm inside the document manager that you can find at this URL. And opening the document manager will will show again the interface. Since I'm reading that you missed the part, the presentation of the interface, 
I will explain it again, uh, just a second. Okay, so now we are again in the main interface. As you can see, as you can see on the top bar, we have three, we have three se possible selections, file upload, text input, and web import. What, what happened with the file upload feature is that you can upload a document. Now the document has been already uploaded, so I'm showing you our interface is simple. You press the file upload and you can drag and drop any file really easily uh, without any effort. You can even drag and drop a file actually inside the main interface. A second option is that you can copy and paste uh, the, a simple piece of text. So as I'm showing right now, you can name a document in any way and it will be automatically created as I'm doing right now, for example. And the document is instantaneously created with the text that you provide and instantaneously checked. Uh, then we have the web import feature that allows you to upload a document from Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. Or if you own a website or you run a website or anywhere you want to check a website for plagiarism, you can simply write the URL of your website and it will be automatically added from in the interface and uh, the, the website will be converted by our system in a, in a PDF and will scan the PDF for that work. Uh, you, you, we even have a really powerful administration and setting feature that is something I want to talk ab about later. Uh, now I want to focus on the documents and the full report. So. Uh, another nice feature is that you can assign tags to a document. So, for example, you want to say that this is a document from 2016 and you can find the document from 2016. If you want to search a document, you can use the search bar and you will see just document that answer to the search feature on or you can even use a filter button that will filter your labels. Okay. Let's, let's go inside the report view. We are really proud of the report view because uh, we are always and constantly evolving it. Uh, we really believe that, that a useful software should be simple and user-friendly and I'm sure you can enjoy uh, how easy and nice our interface is. So, let's analyze our document. Hmm. We are seeing that we have 68.5% of, of plagiarism in the document. What is this amount? 68.5% of chance that this document has been plagiarized means that you should be aware that we have multiple sources that corresponds to the document we just put in our system. And as you can see in the top bar, you can see in each page where the, where the match has been found in the document. So let's have a strong, let's have a better view of what we are talking about. As you can see at the left bar, in the left bar, uh, we highlight all the original website uh, as sources that we find, uh, that we find to match the text that is in your document. And in the main view, you can see the original document with the original text in red. So, the legend says that red is an exact match and blue is a possibly altered text. And green marked as quotation. So, let's analyze our document. As you can see, this red bar and when you press in the document, when you click in the document any red part, you can see to the right the the text that we found on the source and to the left the source uh, as website that match with the highlighted text. And let's say that for example you disagree with the part and this part is a citation that has been wrongfully uh, not marked by the student with citation marks. You can 
you can, at, the top, at the top portion of the window, you can see the citation button and we can mark the text as a citation and the text becomes green and is not counted anymore for the percentage of plagiarism in the document. Or let's say that this other portion of text is wrong and shouldn't be marked as, as plagiarism. Then we can remove the marking, for example, with the, with the feature at the top bar. So let's try to remove this mark. And you can go ahead, remove marking all along the text, and you can save this chain so that they will permanently be, be stored in the document. So let's analyze now our bar our left bar. So, as you can see, uh, we have uh, all sources, top three sources, internet sources. What does it mean? So, let's, let's talk about a real example. I'm clicking this portion of the text so that uh, text is highlighted in this match. And now I'm going to open, uh, I'm going to open a random source of this text so that I can understand if the text is actually plagiarized. As you can see, you can even select multiple sources and you can just uh, adapt the percentage as, as long as you want to click or uncheck a portion of the text. Now, let's, let's try to see on the original website where this, this text has been highlighted and for making it more clear, I just want to show that it's working together on an assignment. Okay, now let's click highlight matches in source. Okay, we are, we are, our system will automatically open the source website and will elaborate this view, highlighting in the original website the source of plagiarism. So, as you can see, in yellow, you can amazingly find that uh, the text we marked as quotation, as, as plagiarized text in the previous window is highlighted in, um, in the original website. That way you can understand if the student actually copied or partially altered the text or if it is not true and you should remove the marking. So this case was was real and we should keep, of course, this source. Now, let's, let's talk about uh, the download feature. You don't have to use just the online view, but you can even download as a PDF or as a noted docx document so that you can uh, download this document, as I said, in a docx and you can review this document uh, with your student with every source aligned to the right as the native notes feature in Microsoft Word and you can work uh, offline this, this, this detail with your student or, or by yourself. That's the report view, I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's, let's show you a bit our settings. I want to talk a bit about our administration panel because here you can understand any feature we offer to our customers and you can be one of our customers uh, of course talking with Rajesh so it's really easy and we can set up an account for you with a trial account you can test our software refer to Rajesh uh, for any any detail. Let's restore our demo presentation. Okay, it's possible to add multiple users in your in your interface so that you can subdivide your credits. And if you want to select, uh, and if you want uh, to assign a limited amount of credits to one of your user, you will always be able to do so. You can even create subdivisions and. We offer API integrations for, for integrating our own system into your main uh, plagiarism, into your main uh, learning management software. So you can generate API keys, 
is possible to use a single sign-on. So if your university uses Shibulef, for example, uh, um, you can set up the, your single sign-on to allow your students to automatically log into Plascan using your your feature, or you can create a submission portal. Submission portal is really useful for teachers because you can you can allow your student to submit their documents with a really nice interface uh, that will simply allow your students to upload a document, uh, and then you can check uh, in a all together or one by one the document that your student upload to your submission portal without having to give them your Plasca details. Now let's have a quick view on the settings. Our settings are really great because you can basically uh, uh, set every detail you want about how to run Plagarin. So the user interface for example uh, is always extender for our users uh, and, and a really cool feature that we offer is that you can auto start a check as soon as the document is uploaded. So for example for the submission portal you, or for a standard upload of any document you can choose to either upload 100 documents all together and then scan them uh, in one single process or scan them as long uh, as soon as a student has submitted the document. And you can send a notification by email to your student or to yourself as soon as the document is checked with the link to the report that I showed you earlier or to, to notify, of, of course, the student of his plagiarism text and then he can see directly on his email what happened to his document. Uh, another feature is that you can choose how long you want to keep the document on our system. So you can choose one week, three months, six months, or as long as you are a Plascan customer, never remove data, basically, so that we can store your documents forever. We don't limit uh, right now the, uh, the number or the weight of the documents that are on our system. So we offer uh, right now unlimited space on our system. And, of course, there are settings for plagiarism checking, so you can choose how sensitive you want the plagiarism check to be. Medium for us is the right solution, but maybe some corporation want to be really sensitive and they want to be sure that he is super, super, super sure that the document has been plagiarized and they want to exclude each, each source that maybe can wrongfully be assigned but Medium is perfect and 97% of our users are using the Medium setting. Uh, then you can choose uh, when to assign the yellow or red color. Our statistics shows that, you sh that uh, usually a document is perfect under 1% of plagiarism inside the document and above 5% there is a serious concern and you should really have a look at this document and analyze it with your own eyes. Something really useful for you is whitelist. So, let's imagine that you want to check your documents against uh, another, another document submitted by someone, but you offer a standard text or you, you cite your own resource that is available on your website inside your document. You can whitelist your, your URL or your text so that uh, this way, when you, want, when you don't want our system to recognize that there is plagiarism from something that you developed, for example, a standard template for a curricula or the questions of, a, of an assignment for your students, you can whitelist these questions and they will be ignored by our system. And the most important feature is check against my documents. So, what is possible to do is that you can enable the fact that you want to check against your document so that you know that if you upload a two document from two students, as I said, you we refer to the other document. Other privacy settings, and these settings are really uh, important for your, uh, for your entire structure, is that you can check A against the web, B against your document, uh, C against your organizations, D the plug scan database. But 
I will talk in more details now about these features uh, again on our slides. So let me let me close the window and just show you how you can uh, you can log out from our system. Of course, the one single feature that I haven't mentioned right now is that you can even generate a code for your students. So you can the submission portal works that way. Imagine that you are uh, Indian institution of business, and you you can create uh, your portal called plascan.com uh, slash Indian institution of business, or you can use the code uh, or that we'll create, and you can make your student upload their document using the code that you will give them. Thank you for seeing the, the demo. Now let's go back to our slides. Okay, let me just make sure that you are seeing our slides. Okay, let's continue. Okay, right now we support every uh, UTF-8 character-based language. Our interface is in English, French, German, and Spanish, but every every character-based language is supported by Plascan. Uh, the only characters that are not supported are, are syllab-based languages, for example, Japanese, Mandarin, Korean, but any other language like Greek, Lush, Russian, Arabic or, or Indian is supported. Okay, but let's continue and let's talk again about our sources. So, Plascan uses four different types of sources. As I mentioned the, before, World Wide Web, and the World Wide Web for us is really important. We cooperate with Microsoft Bing, and we cover the entire World Wide Web for plagiarism checking. Anything that is indexed by Bing is available for check. And what, what, what this does mean is that uh, any time in the future where document uh, is available on the web, we always check these new documents the, in the moment that you, are that you are checking your document again. So we'll, we are going to give you a real view of what is your plagiarism level today, right now, in this moment, in the entire world. Second source is the repository of your organization. And as I said, your organization means that as I showed you, I uploaded the document on our interface, uh, on our document manager, and this, do this document will stay inside the document manager forever if you don't want to remove it. This means that if in any moment in the future you will upload a document that is similar to this document, or there is a reference, a single row of text that match the document uploaded today, in any time in the future will be highlighted uh, if it's inside your organization as internal match inside your organization. This is really useful for departments or for, uh, for uh, example, a business institution that is creating multiple departments or a school that has mul multiple classes that are divided, but anyway, they refer to the same organization so you, they can check against other classes or schools or, or departments. We call any cooperating publisher, so every journal that is covered by the open access protocol and every publisher that is cooperating with us is, uh, is highlighted in our source and you will be able to open the document. And fourth source is the Plascan database. When you have a document in your database, uh, you can optionally opt-in to allow Plascan to, to store this document in the database and at the same time to check again the Plascan database. What does it mean, the Plascan database? It means that to, with an interface that will protect your privacy, if your document uh, is matched by someone else that is a Plascan user, uh, they will see in their interface that there is a match from the document of someone uh, 
that is a Plasca user and the interface will show that they can request you to have access to the document and you will receive an email that will ask you to grant access to the document and of course you can ignore it, don't, don't allow, you can not allow it but in general you will be able to know if someone else in the world has already uh, that document in their database. Question and answers. Now I'm starting to answer some common questions and uh, we can open a real question and answer sessions later. Okay, so uh, as a user you have the power to remove all your data from our servers anytime and this is not just a common saying. German laws force us to give the right to our, to our customer to choose what they want to do with their files. And this is, this is a really precise German law. So we, we will never be the owners of your documents. You are the owner of your document and you give us the right to treat your document as you say us. We cannot force you to, to, to allow the rights to your document if you don't allow us. And this is something really important for us. If you want us to delete a document from the interface, we will delete it and we will, not store, we will never store hidden on secret copies of the document. Le next, we offer two different solutions, but in general 98% uh, of our users use the cloud-based solution. So the interface that I showed you before on www.plascan.com is our cloud-based solution and uh, our cloud-based solution is hosted on our German servers with our data privacy regulation and German privacy law, law SSL super encrypted 256 bits protocol 24-7 team at your support or if you are really uh, protective with your document, you can ask a non-premise solution that is something that is really unique in the world. We offer you the possibility to basically buy slash rent the entire Plascan algorithm slash software in, on your own premises so that the document will be stored on your own premises, on your servers and the Plascan will run checking against the World Wide Web and your internal match documents from your server so that we will never get access to your documents, your document will always stay your. Uh, this option of course has an higher clause in the cloud-based solution and if you don't need this solution uh, for a really precise reason uh, I strongly suggest you to ask Rajesh to told you just about the cloud-based solution that is the standard PLASCAN that we talked about. Uh, okay, earlier I mentioned the API integration possibilities. So you can either use our Moodle plugin, so uh, we build our plugin for Moodle, you can easily download it from the Moodle store and integrate it with our API interface in few clicks and, and, and really easily. Uh, or if your LMS support the LTI standard, you can uh, use the LTI standard with any LMS worldwide avail available. Uh, an alternative that lots of our users are using is to use our API that you can find more detail as www.plascan.com slash API guide or simply Google Plascan API and you can find more details. Basically with our APIs you, you can send from, from anything you have created to our server a document or a piece of text or an archive and this document will be sent through your API to our system checked for plagiarism and then we'll send you back or either the result, either the full report with all the notes of the plagiary, of plagiary inside the document or any feature that you want to see, please go to our API 
section of our website if you want more detail. And uh, consider that in creating an API integration for your own system is not that hard. Uh, you just have to have a developer that knows what, what is an API and in 30 to 40 developer hours you can integrate any system with your API. It's possible to directly transfer the previous data from a competitor uh, of PlusCan directly to PlusCan. So, uh, if you already use a uh, Plagiarm software, we can help you in uh, uh, understanding what's the best way to move your files, but please consider that uh, in general, uh, uh, using plagiarism uh, using an anti-plagiarism software is something that is a, a small cloud. So you have to, we can easily, easily help you to upload all your documents uh, with your API or with a script that we can provide you uh, in one single batch inside our, uh, inside our interface and then you can store your documents in our interface and going ahead uh, with Plascan as the as your only system for the entire anti-plagiarism process. Thank you a lot for watching the presentation. I'm reading that uh, lots of you are asking to, to receive the presentation and I will ask you please to email Rajesh uh, with your email and Rajesh, Rajesh will send you the presentation that you have just used. He has a copy of the presentation, so of course he can send it to everyone of you. I will even add that if you ask Rajesh to, for a demo account, you can, Rajesh will contact me and will, will give you free credits, something really good. So please don't hesitate. I hope that all of you who will ask Rajesh, since I'm seeing 22 attendees, I expect to have 22 requests of, of, of demo account. Don't hesitate. We are really happy uh, to, get, to make our customer to test uh, PlusCan because all our customer comes from, from a demo account. They really love our software and they'll continue to use it. We can help you in all the process of integrating and understanding better how to use Plascan in your, in your entire institution. So don't hesitate to, to, to ask Rajesh for a demo account. Please provide him your email so they can send you the presentation and we can create an account for you. If I'm, I'm not seeing an, any other question right now, I hope that I... Uh, that everything was self-explanatory. If you st you're still able to write a question on the interface, if you want, let me go through. Mm -hmm. um, okay, not seeing any other question. If you have a question, write Rajesh uh, your question and I will answer directly to Rajesh and Rajesh will write you my answer, our answer, because as a company we, are, we love to give direct support to our customers, so probably you will get in touch with me again, I, love, I will personally take responsibility to answer to every email we receive from Rajesh customers uh, on behalf of Rajesh and in contact with Rajesh. So don't hesitate to write to Rajesh, to me, please refer to this presentation and to the fact that you are a Rajesh, uh, Rajesh webinar attendees. I'm really looking forward to read more questions from you. Thank you for participating. It was really a pleasure. And bye from PlusCan. <laughs>